Hi and welcome to the Jaguar Land Rover Guru channel. Uh, I'm pleased to be presenting the 21 model year Jaguar F-Pace uh, facelift. And so I'm going to talk you around the outside and then we'll jump inside. Uh, and as we go, we'll look at some of the, uh, the main changes. So starting at the front, we can see Jaguar have gone with their uh, traditional J-Blade uh, headlights, but it's a double J-Blade on the uh, F-Pace. It does also feature the animated indicators as well. We can see with the bonnet, we've actually got a full length bonnet now, whereas before um, there was a uh, section of the bumper, just like on this XE over here. There's a section of the bumper um, before the, uh, the actual edge of the bonnet, and that's now right up to the front grille. The new grille itself uh, is uh, taller and wider, with these sort of, um, I don't know what you call them, sort of um, brushed aluminium effect, if you like, inserts. This particular one has the 3D surround camera, so there is a camera up front. Uh, it also has the radar guided cruise control. Bit of a hint for you, if you ever have a look down the side of the badge, if it's not a 3D badge and it's flat, it's got radar cruise control. Um, so this particular one, R dynamic, so it's got the R dynamic bumper with the uh, inserts in the chrome. It's also got black along the bottom of the bumper and it's got the um, mesh grille at the bottom there as well. Uh, front parking sensors is standard. LED headlights are standard. Uh, you can upgrade those to LED pixel matrix uh, items. Um, bit of a pricey option, but a fantastic headlight system nonetheless. Down the side of the car, uh, we do have brand new uh, design of alloy wheels. Uh, these particular ones are 20 inch in size, gloss black in finish, also available in diamond cut. And then the only real notable thing down the side of the car is the new uh, wing vents, which now features um, mesh grille and Jaguar Leaper as well. The side profile of the car is all very traditional Jaguar F-Pace that we've known since 2016, so same side profile. I do apologise for the sun, I'll just move around. At the back, what's different? Well, we've got exhaust, which are now built into the bumper, and there's just a normal tailpipe behind them. We've got the new uh, chicane rear lights, which are now full LED, whereas they weren't fully LED on the previous model. This one has the powered tailgate, and uh, in this one we've also got the 40-20-40 split fold seats. And also new for the F-Pace. Rear camera's not new, but the fact that it has a washer is just on there. So, really useful feature. So when you do your rear screen wash, you'll also be uh, washing the camera. And then uh, looking down the side again, as you can see, all very traditional Jaguar F-Pace side profile. You can upgrade to exterior black pack, which will black out the grille surround uh, on the front bumper, the side uh, wing vents, the window surround. And now new for the 21 model year F-Pace is the black Jaguar uh, an F-Pace uh, lettering on the back. So let's have a look at the interior. So Jaguar really have uh, done a fantastic job with the interior of the 21 model year F-Pace. Uh, this particular interior is trimmed in full ebony leather with contrast oyster stitch. Standard on the F-Pace is Isofix, so if you've got child seats, you can put those in the two outer seats as well. Centre section is an armrest, you've also got the third headrest there as well, so you can carry uh, three adults in the back in reasonable comfort. New door cards for the 21 model year. Uh, now features uh, slightly different shaped door handles, different shaped speakers. This particular one has the uh, Meridian sound system, uh, and they're just completely new, so a new design. Let's have a look in the front. So we'll start with the door card again. Um, so as you can see again, completely different uh, speaker shape. The memory seat buttons, uh, which used to be uh, in this sort of area here, they're now up on the speaker out the way. And the buttons that you will use more often, the window switches are now behind the uh, pull handle. And again, they used to be up here um, in a bit of an odd place. And they now feature the same buttons as uh, the Range Rover and Range Rover Sport. Uh, so I've got the hidden until lit buttons for the folding, etc. Now uh, this one uh, has got the 14-way uh, adjustable seats with the addition of uh, lumbar support. So you've got lumbar support which goes up and down the back of the seat. And you can also, you see this little lip here, 
you can actually inflate and deflate these side bolsters uh, to keep you upright if you're throwing the car around corners, which you can do because it's uh, quite a, a sporty SUV. We've now got all new uh, steering wheel, so again, hidden to lip buttons. Um, if you opt for a different color interior, one thing that's worth noting, the inside of the steering wheel will go a different color. Um, so if you went for ivory interior or light oyster interior, the inside of the steering wheel, you can see the lip here, the inner part will be the same color as your seats. Also just worth noting is you do now have new gear selector and new center console and we've got the new Pivi Pro system. And let's have a look at that in a bit more detail. Okay, so the new Pivi Pro system um, making its first appearance in the Jaguar F-Pace 21 model year. Um, I can't show the navigation at the moment because it's not been initialized on this particular car. It's ready to be installed, uh, but we wanted this car in the showroom before uh, it went through the workshop just to, to show it off. Uh, do the videos for uh, you at home. Uh, telephone, uh, normal sort of situation, you just basically pair up. Um, mobile phone, if it's an iPhone, they're the easiest ones to do. Just go into your settings and find the car and your unpaired devices. Um, if it doesn't work, then just search for the car. Uh, and as you can see, you can search for the car, just look for Jaguar F-Pace, it'll appear in your unpaired devices again. Um, so really, really easy system to, to use. Uh, if you have the in-control system uh, installed, uh, the car will recognize that that's on your phone uh, and it will sort of combine uh, those two features. So the car and the, the app will speak to each other and communicate. Really useful if you want to send navigation um, destinations and uh, things like that to, uh, to the car as well. So we'll come back out of here. And this is the home screen. You always get this on the uh, landing page. Um, so this is your navigation, phone, media, all in one place. Very easy to use. And then you've got your shortcut buttons here at the side as well. And this one actually launches all your different apps that uh, on the old system, you'd have swiped the screen across. Um, they're easy to find now. One thing I want to show you, which is uh, becoming uh, a popular option, uh, and in fact, standard on some Jaguar Land Rover models now, uh, like the Discovery Sport as well is the 3D surround camera. What a piece of technology this is. You can pick up these different cameras and as you can see on the screen, it'll show you a mock section of the car here and what's on the floor here and next to it is actually displayed on the screen. If we take a different one, we'll look at it from a different angle. How good is that? That is amazing. Really useful if you're parking up on streets with high curbs or you're off road and you want to have a look if you're near that rock that you can't see out the window. Absolutely superb. And that combined with the car's uh, all around 360 degree park distance control or parking sensor system means you should never really be bumping the car at all. Uh, but what a fantastic piece of technology that is. We'll go back to the home screen. Of course, uh, when you're in reverse, you can just pop it into a rever uh, standard reversing camera. It will do the same job as, uh, as always. Uh, on the driver's screen, uh, as you can see, it's now a full digital screen and it's now standard across the F-Pace range. Uh, we do have the option to have the car in full map mode, uh, which of course, as I mentioned earlier, the navigation uh, isn't initialized on the car. Uh, but what we can do is we can see what uh, we can do here. So let's go, let's go to two dial. Uh, so if we turn it back to two dial, as you can see, it's all digital. And then you can actually choose uh, what you have in the center section, which is called the info panel. And you could choose just to have, let's say, trip summary in there. Uh, come back out of it. Easy to use once you've uh, spent a little bit of time with it. Uh, so, I oh, sorry, I Please accidentally safety. pressed the voice activation button. So as you can see, you could have the map in there. I've gone for the trip summary. So you've got all your miles per gallon range and things like that left in there as well. Uh, you've then got the steering wheel controls. This particular one's got the really nice option of a heated steering wheel. Uh, hidden until lip buttons, so this won't actually show if the ignition is off, which I will just demonstrate. Makes the car nice and clean and tidy looking on the steering wheel. Cruise control standard right across the range, as is the limiter. Um, also voice activation, uh, Bluetooth connectivity, all, uh, all of course is standard. New for the F-Pace is these really, really nice uh, paddle shifters. Um, really like the uh, the cutout of the plus and minus uh, in the actual metal themselves and you can actually see it underneath as well absolutely fantastic uh, what else can we tell you about oh yeah so uh, now they come with this really nice um, climate control panel which says uh, Jaguar Coventry established in 1935 just 
a little bit of uh, history there just to let you know you're driving something that's uh, a little bit special. You do have individual climate control for driver and passenger and these dials are really really nice to use. These are actually straight out of the eye pace um, but again really nice to use. You can just pull it towards you one click and you can increase the fan speed and that is really really nice. And push it back in again and you can see all the information on the built-in uh, screens just in there as well. Uh, of course you've got your heated seat switches here. Uh, it won't work while the engine's not on. I can't have it running in this showroom at the moment. Climate control on here for your air distribution. Heated front screen, uh, standard across the uh, F-Pace range now. I think it should be standard on every car now because it's such a nice feature to have and why wouldn't you? It costs such a small amount to put in. Um, gear selector, so uh, that's just the Pivy Pro system going off. Uh, gear selector is the new style. This is going to be rolled out right across the JLR range. Uh, very, very simple to use. There's actually a little button on here which is a release. Uh, I don't think I can show you it, but uh, you pull that in, pull it backwards into drive, away you go. Don't have to worry about handbrake, it does it all for you. And then also a new feature as well is when you're actually uh, in drive, if you become stationary uh, and if you press the brake with such force that the car knows that you're uh, becoming stationary at traffic lights, for example, and you're going to be there a while, it'll actually auto hold. So you can take your foot off the brake pedal um, and then all you do is tap the accelerator and away you go again. We go, do have a uh, mode function here, so in the old car that was a series of buttons uh, around this sort of area here with an arrow so you can go backwards and forwards between uh, let me get this in the right order. Dynamic, Comfort, Eco and Ice and Rain. That's all just here and it'll come through the screen and on the driver's display as well. Uh, got our low speed cruise control, traction control, new style volume selector which is this sort of roller here and then the new engine start button which used to be sort of around here on the dash as well. Uh, slider here for your cup holders. Everything else is pretty much the same. This particular car has the uh, optional sliding glass panoramic roof. My opinion on these, I'm not really too bothered whether my car does or doesn't have one of these. I know there's a lot of people out there that really like them. Uh, you can opt for either a solid roof, fixed glass roof, or this one which is the sliding glass roof. Um, again, it's, it's up to you. It's, it's not really for me. It's just, that's just a personal thing. I either like a solid roof um, or a, a convertible roof. That's, that's all I like. Um, well, yeah, there we go. So um, that's the interior of the 21 model year F-Pace. So there we go. Thank you for watching my video on the introduction of the 21 model year Jaguar F-Pace SUV. Please like, share and subscribe for more JLR content. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.